And we are back. Camera's rolling. Thank you guys for being here. And thank you guys for all your support, subscribing, and hitting those notifications. Not really sure what they do. Now I'm going to take y'all deep into the woods today on a hunt, and it got a little crazy. Did not go the way I was expecting it to. Good thing for you guys. Before we get out there into the brush, it is almost Cyber Monday, and it is Black Friday weekend right now, y'all. And if you want to take advantage of the 30% off sale on uh, some of the merch, some of the brand new merch, you guys go and get you some right now. Link will be down in the description. Throwback, the original camo fishing free cat, 30% off. The new Make Every Cast Count V2 shirts. Bam, right there. We got those 30% off, and I've got some new crappie shirts, some dangler shirts for all y'all meat gatherers, or maybe you just enjoy the look of a crappie. I don't know. I've got one on my wall behind me in the shape of a guitar. Crappie, the other white meat, new shirt and sweatshirts, 30% off at the store right now. Link is in the top of the description. Help support the channel. Craziness going on at the Googles right now. I just got my channel remonetized back in action, but the majority of my support currently comes from you guys and the merch sales. Now let's creep out into the woods and let's get to hunt. It's gonna be a good morning. Heading out, something is going down. Research has been done. It's about six o'clock in the morning and still pitch black. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go set up get some cedar trees. There's a feeder back in there, a ton of does. Some small bucks come in. There's also been some turkeys coming at about 10 o'clock, so the action is gonna be good. I'm talking tons of deer. We're coming to this thing. We can set up in a tree. Let's see what comes out. We're into rifle season now, and I'm yet to put a buck on the ground with my 6.8 caliber gun. It's an AR platform gun. I've never killed a deer with an AR platform gun. And I figured this would be a good time to put it to the test. This property hasn't been hunted very much, so there's all sorts of crazy things coming out of the woods and new deer showing up on the cameras every day. I set up on the ground right here about 70 yards from this feeder and I already have had a buck come in behind me and run off. I quickly realized I'm sitting on a game trail after the sun came up. But it's the best looking tree I could find at 5.30 in the morning with no light and the wind is perfectly in my favor. Quickly some does and a little buck start coming in and. I am fully ready to take down a doe. This is what I came here for. I'm ready to get some meat. There's only been a few big shooter bucks show up on this camera, so I'm really not expecting to see one. Another doe comes up from a weird angle behind me, smells me, blows, and then runs off. And then that triggers another doe to come around and just take a look. She can't see what's going on. I'm, I'm blended in, I got good background cover, but she sneaks around and then she gets an angle on me and then she runs off. Now I'm left with a little four point, two and a half year old buck, and I'm just sitting there waiting. I hope these does are gonna come back in, and then. There is a crazy deer coming in from my right that's got its left antler just bent down over its face. I'm so shocked by that. I'm looking at that, I'm turning the camera, and then all of a sudden, there is a mature buck that steps out. It caught me totally off guard. I mean, these other bucks, they literally started posturing down to this other big buck, and he wasn't, he didn't have a huge rack. He just was mature, and by mature, I mean he's probably five and a half. This is that one buck that I'd already seen on the camera that I knew I'm probably not gonna see him, but dang, if that sucker steps out, I will shoot him. I freak out, I put the camera down. The sun is coming in to the scope. I get lined up on this deer. It is perfect if he takes two steps to the right, he's gonna line up where I, there's no glare at all. All he's gotta do is turn broadside, and what does he do? He turns beautifully, does one of these neck motions, just ugh. And I pull on the trigger ever so slightly to get the perfect shot. I mean, did that seriously just happen? The unexpected Mondo Buck 
And I'm not talking about huge rack or anything. He's just definitely a mature buck. And that's the kind of bucks that I want to shoot. Now, I don't know how many of y'all have ever pulled the trigger and a gun not fire when it's calm out in the woods, but let me tell you something. That little spring inside of that gun, it sounds like a daggum stick of dynamite going off when there's nothing moving. I mean, every animal just turns and looks. Every squirrel, every armadillo is like, what is that? This old big boy's just staring in my direction. He can't quite put a bead on what's going on. He doesn't know what my shiny gun is. I'm leaned behind the tree. And then he starts walking towards me just like the doe did. Just to investigate the area, see what that was. So what did I do? I slowly started slouching down onto the ground like, please don't see me, please. And eventually I was laying flat on the ground, watching the deer, wondering what should I do? Should I rack another bullet in? He's definitely gonna run off. I don't wanna shoot a deer running. I just sat there and I watched him turn around. He lightly flipped his big fluffy tail and he went back into the cedar trees. I cannot believe Now it's time to pick myself up off the cactus infested West Texas ground and go find another spot. This other deer that's still out in the field, he's not growing any brow tines. I already saw a big deer. The gun didn't go off. I have this deer sitting in front of me. I'm kind of hoping he just runs off and makes the decision easy for me. He definitely smells me. I hope there's another deer coming out. If it's a doe, I'm going to shoot it. It's a doe. It's a doe. Yes. No, it's a little spike. I don't even know if my gun is going to go off at this point. When I know there's some really big deer running around here, and if I put my time in, I'll probably find one. But with this wind picking up, these deer are going to be get pretty skittish right here. The reason I'm right here is because I've got good distance cover behind me. I mean, the sun is, is right at my back, too, so they can't. They're having a hard time looking over here and seeing me. This deer steps out in the right position again. I'm gonna see if this gun will actually fire a bullet and put him on the table. There's a group of does behind the buck. I was literally about to pull the trigger, but here looking at these doves, I'm hoping they're gonna come in. I just shot like five minutes ago. You did? Yeah. Oh, I definitely couldn't hear you. You didn't hear it? No. Did you kill something? I hope so. You, you just, I rattled in a buck. He came in five yards from me. Stared at me in the face. I was like, and he just went bolted. And then I called in a coyote on accident. I was rattling and he come darting into it at the same time. We have blood. It, it kind of looks a little frothy, like I might have got some lungs. Between the both of us, probably some of the coolest white tail uh, hunting on the ground that I've ever seen. This is the first deer I've ever shot from the ground. Good blood, good blood. 
He's going this way. Usually they go. Path of least resistance is that way. Path of least resistance. There's blood on the tree right there. If he's running into trees and stuff, it's, oh, yeah, he's, it's a good he's, sign. And look for blood on the road, just so if you cross the road. But I'm on last blood. Yep, yeah, more blood here. Steven's got blood. There we go. Oh, yeah. Looks like he slowed down there for a second. Now we're starting to get the juiciness. Need I've more blood I've never shot a deer with a 6.8, so it's not like an arrow. No, an arrow is fucking. <laughs> You know. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah, it's back on the road. Let's see which way. Did he turn? Yeah, now it's still going this way. Little rack, look at that right there. This is what we're liking. He's almost, we're almost there. We're almost there. Man, he did go a ways. I'm in a little trouble right now, picking up last blood. We got some right here, boys. That's good blood there. I have no idea where I hit him. Really no idea. It's been a long time since I've shot a deer with a rifle, so how about that path? I kind of forgot how uh, how the blood trail the is different than bow hunting. Just sit on, just sit on the last blood. I mean, with bow hunting, you're you're putting a big old gash. With rifle hunting, sometimes it just kind of spurts out. It does a lot of damage, but it just it takes longer to take effect. Whereas a bow is just immediate, just poof, a blowout. We are a ways away from where I shot this deer. He's, he was right in front of us. There he is. Oh yeah, good shot. Oh. Good shot. Yep, there's the old rifle shot. I was worried, I didn't know. That's a good old buck. We recovered him, went a pretty good ways. Made a really good shot on him, I wasn't sure. That's one of the main things. You always want to make sure you make a good shot on an animal. I've killed two low fence bucks this year. He's just a nice, nice buck. <laughs> It'll eat. This is gonna eat. It is time to clean this deer. It's still pretty cold outside and we want to get back to hunting. So I'm basically just gonna gut it. I'm gonna throw some ice in its, uh, in its chest cavity and uh, it's gonna be freezing tonight. So we should be fine to hunt the rest of the day. Just keep it in the shade. Look at that. That's what everybody currently uses. Y'all, my hands are so bloody right now. Bloody with success though. It feels good to get another deer for the freezer. I'm probably gonna do mostly deer sausage because everybody that has tried the deer sausage that I got from my last deer has loved it. OSG said she wants some more of that. Unfortunately, we don't have any water right here or a creek, so I'm kind of just stuck with this blood on my hands. I don't know if you've ever had blood on your hands for a long time. Hopefully you're not a, a murderer of <laughs> sorts, but it just feels like I have an extra layer of skin on and it's, it smells like success, but then again, I like smelling fish. Hands are bloody, cleaning's done. I'm gonna throw some ice onto that deer and we're gonna continue hunting. There are some turkeys, we saw them as we were coming out back here so we're gonna hunt for those and then uh, I think Rob's gonna continue the stalking. Deer are running around everywhere during the middle of the day right now but I am going after turkey. I went around in the woods and hunted turkeys in the afternoon and let me tell y'all something when there's 20 or 30 of them gathered together they are a doozy to sneak up on. I got fairly close enough to film but not enough to sneak up on them and get a good clean shot and shoot one during this fall turkey season. They start getting nervous and then they just Flap those big beautiful wings that you hardly ever see them use and let me tell you something, turkeys can fly a long ways. It's like watching a herd of butterballs just get off the ground and say, see you later. And I ended up sitting at that feeder again in the evening and I wanted to see what was gonna come out. Was a big buck gonna come out? Cause that was gonna make me feel bad if I had shot a younger buck and then this big nasty mature buck comes back out. But he never did. So that made me feel better about my decision. Now truthfully, I don't think I shot the right deer, y'all. Still shot a great deer, nice three and a half year old deer, but there was another buck with that deer that I think I should have shot that was five and a half years old, probably mature, but had no antler growth at all. And uh, I chose the deer that had the antlers that was a little younger rather than the mature buck. And as a hunter, and as I get older and I'm more patient, 
I don't think that was the right decision to make. Is that good for my ego? Does that make me feel good? No, but I'm telling you guys that because I think that's the right thing to do if you're a young hunter and you're getting into hunting, that's what you should do. You should look to shoot the mature animal always. Like the first buck of the season that I shot was probably six and a half years old beyond its prime. A great deer to take out, even though its antlers are even smaller than it was the year before. As I get older and as I hunt more, that's what I realize. It's not about the antlers, it's about shooting the mature animal. That one that is the dominant buck. I saw that buck in the morning, my gun didn't go off, unfortunately. And when you see that buck step out, you know immediately, the other animals know, that's the big boy in the woods right now. My meat's still gonna be great and I'm proud to bring meat home and feed my family. The point is, in my opinion, it's not about trophy hunting, it's about shooting the right animal. And I just wanna say that as a learning lesson from my experience, because I think that's the right thing to do. And on that little life lesson outdoor note, we are gonna close out today's video, y'all. And I've been doing this since 2009, I think is when I started my channel, and some of you guys have been here since then. So thank you to all you dedicated fishing freaks out there that have been watching the channel for a long time. And to all you new peeps out there, thank you for being here. So until the next time I see you, I hope you're having a very blessed day in the outdoors. Go enjoy it, man. Good old fall weather. Just put you some flannel on, dig up. Enjoy the harvest. And I'll see y'all on the next one. God bless you.